Well, to some, it's about time. Ontario is rolling up pilot projects in select high schools before it adds financial literacy to the grade 10 curriculum. And as Elizabeth Hall reports, students will have a say in what the course will soon look like. Do you know what an RRSP is? No, I've never heard of it. Do you know how mortgages work? Uh, not really. No. Yeah. Do you know how to properly file taxes? Nah. No. No. Uh, no, I don't know. Uh, no. I think it's something that students should learn out in the real world, like, we'll definitely need it. Most kids when they come out of school are kind of screwed because they don't know how to do any of that. It's something that students want to learn, but it's only one part of the four different aspects the province has set out to improve in the 45-day career course. The pilots will include learning opportunities related to career and life planning, entrepreneurship, digital liter literacy, and financial literacy. There's only one school in Hamilton that's participating in the pilot project, and that's Bishop Riley Catholic Secondary School. The magic to this is that it becomes student-driven and student-owned with really looking at the big ideas. Teacher Marcy Brennan says the school will be focusing on what students want to know about career and life planning, but they will touch on all subjects. You might be looking again in greater detail of OSAP and what is a student visa um, doing. So your first week of Frosh Week, whether it's going to be at college or university, signing up for that American Express and getting the free t-shirt, what are the consequences of that? Gary Rabber is the president of the Canadian Foundation for Economic Education and has long been a supporter of financial education in schools. He says asking the students what they want to know is a good move. He did a survey of over 6,000 young people last November. Uh, we were blown away by the fact that almost the number of young people that said, we want this, we need this. When they look for a real world application of the things they learn in school, this one is so obvious. Although he would like to see financial literacy taught at a much younger age. The pilot project ends in June. Elizabeth Hall, CHCH News.